Well, hello and welcome back to Vicki's Country Home. Today I'm making potato salad. We're going to have a tri-tip grilled and barbecued for dinner. We're inviting my brother-in-law over. So I'm going to show you how we make my family's potato salad. Now somebody's going to ask me about amounts and they're are no amounts for this. This is something my mother made growing up and it just depended on how many people were going to be there. It also depended on how much leftovers we want because we love this stuff. Brian loves this stuff. So you make as much as you think you're going to eat in a day or two. So first thing I'm going to do is wash these and peel these. Now Growing up, we never washed, we never peeled them. We'd wash them, put them in a pot of boiling wa of, of water, and when they were done, the skins just slip right off. And that is an awesome way to make it. But today, I'm going to peel them and cut them into chunks because I think it ends up being easier for me. So I'm going to go peel these potatoes and put some eggs on to boil too. So I've got some of the potatoes peeled and I only do a few at a time because what I want to do is get them cut and put them in a pot with filled with water. And I don't think you can see, but I just have water in a big pot. That way they won't discolor while I'm working on the rest of them. Simple thing, but that's what I like to do. And I don't necessarily cut them a certain size. I just want bite-sized chunks. So I'm going to finish getting these all cut up and we'll go on to what's next. All right, I put those potatoes in the water and added salt and I boiled them till they were just tender. And now I'm going to let them cool a little bit while I get everything else done. So my potato salad's a little different than a lot of people's. We grew up, it was always a lot of mustard. So that's what I like and that's what I make. And I use a lot of onion, a lot of hard-boiled eggs, and I use dill pickles, and I use my own. So the first thing I'm going to do is just chop up some onions. And this is the neatest thing I ever discovered. And I forget one of the, I don't know if it was Cat's Cradle or Bear Pepper, one of them had one of these. And I loved, I just went out and got it because it was so cool. And you're chopping your onions so quickly. This was such a big job to make a potato salad before I discovered this because we make big ones. It's a little noisy, but I can handle that because it's such a time saver. That was one whole onion chopped up. And I can chop pretty quick, but this is still faster. And I normally use one large onion but I didn't have a large one, so I've got a medium and a small. And that's what I'm doing today. And of course, I'm not wasting anything. All of these onion peels, they're going to my stock bag in the freezer until I'm ready to make stock, which I need to do soon. All of my onions are chopped and I put everything in this giant bowl 
This is huge. But what I've found is it's so much easier to mix in a big bowl and then transfer it to something that fits better. It's not as big a mess, at least for me. And these are my home canned pickles. You know what, I think I'm going to use small chop the rest of those. It doesn't really matter though. Let's see. Nope, I'm going to use the big ones. I like that better. I'm going to get a bunch more of these pickles chopped up and then I'll come back and show you what I do next. Alright, I have my onions and pickles chopped up. And do however much you like. This is totally to taste. It's just adding the ingredients. Now something I learned along the way that made this much easier after I get those in there, I add my spices to this. That way I get them mixed in more evenly. So I use garlic powder, and I like a lot. And I'm going to use coarse ground pepper, because that's what I like. And again, it's totally to taste. I can't tell you how much to use because it's all your taste. We're going to add Himalayan pink salt. And this looks like a lot, but remember, so far we have onions and pickles. We haven't added the potatoes or anything else. So I'm going to mix those in first. And this just helps distribute the spice. If you wait till everything's in here to stir it up, it's much harder. So that's what it looks like. And I use plain old yellow mustard. And I use a lot. So we'll start with that and see how it looks after we get everything in. And I use real mayonnaise. And if you make your own, that's even better, but I'm not doing that today. And again, this looks like a lot. I'm making a large potato salad. And I like it creamy. So now I'm going to mix that together. Now you know why I use such a large bowl. And as you can see, it's very creamy right now and probably close to the right color. Now I'm going to add the potatoes. And they're still a little warm, which is what, oh, they, it just makes the flavor even better. Alright, that's mixed pretty well. I'm going to set this aside. And I am going to chop up the hard boiled eggs. And I do that the same way that I did all the other stuff. Cut them in half 
and chop. The only thing, the eggs tend to gum up a little bit, so sometimes it sticks. So I'm going to get all these eggs chopped up and then we'll come back and finish this potato salad. Alright, I've got all the eggs chopped. And again, this is to your taste. I probably used a dozen eggs, but I'm making a big batch. And then we just make sure it's all well combined. And I guarantee the volume will be down before dinner time. There will be bowls of this taken for lunch. And I like to make it a little bit ahead of time just so the flavors kind of blend together. And that's what it looks like. But the true test is taste. I cannot make this without tasting because it's never the same. And I think that's just about right. Oh, forgot one secret ingredient. Add a little bit of my pickle juice. We didn't necessarily do this when I was a kid, but now my mother does it, I do it. It just adds more flavor. Now let's take a taste. Perfect. It has just a little more tang that way. So there you go. This is my Mama's Style Texas potato salad. But I never knew anybody else that made one with this much mustard, so I'm not sure where it came from. But we love it. So thank you for watching. I hope you come back again. And if you enjoyed it, please give me thumbs up share, subscribe, and hit that little notification bell and be sure and choose notify all videos. And thank you for watching and we'll talk again soon. Blessings.